All right, hello again. Um, I finally got around to making the second video, teaching people how to actually play songs rather than playing them myself. Um, because the story goes, I play videos on YouTube and I get bad reviews. For some reason, you guys like the way I teach, so I'll just stick with that. It's fine. Um, this originally was going to be um, a tutorial on how to play um, House of the Rising Sun, which I'll have to get to later once I tune one of my other guitars. But uh, right now, this guitar that I'm using, the first fret on the E, sounds horrible for some reason. I think I know what's wrong, but I don't know how to fix it really. It sounds horrible. So I'm not going to be uh, using this to do that, because even when I play an F chord or an F sharp, it just... You can hear it in there. It doesn't sound good. So um, this is, ended up being washed away um, by Joe Purdy and... You probably heard this from Lost, which is where I ended up hearing it. My girlfriend had me watch the show, and in the first couple episodes, I think it's the second one or something like that, this is played, and really got like this song, and even though it sounds like it's played on like a ukulele or something like that, I don't know, it might be played on a regular guitar, but I thought there had to be a way where you could play it on guitar, because those are just notes, so it should be able to be transcribed, and I found chords, which I'll show you. You can do strumming, but... Um, as with How to Save a Life, which I'm going to maybe even try to do tonight, um, I decided to do a little picking uh, style on my own, which makes it sound a little bit more like you are playing on a ukulele, or makes it sound a little bit more like the song. So, first off, I like uh, with the other, with the artist, you need a capo. Um, you're going to need a capo with a lot of the songs that I, I teach you. And uh, so, yeah, capo on fifth fret. Alright, the song is extremely easy. Um, start off, all you need to do is it's just a couple chords, alright? So, uh, as I do before, I'll try to show you the chords, even though, if you just, in case you don't know. First one's a C. I'll go through it for the people who know it. First one's a C, then it goes to a bar F, and then it goes to, I think it's a G sharp or something like that, I'm not sure, but you just take the bar F uh, sim uh, shape with your fingers and move it up two frets. So,. If the capo wasn't there, you'd technically be on the 8th fret on the entire guitar. But since the capo is there, you're on the 3rd fret. Alright? That might seem kind of hard to follow. Just pretend the capo's not there. 8th fret. Okay? Um, so you're going to be using that G. And then and once you get to the bridge later, you're going to be using a D minor. Uh, and then a regular old G. Just a simple G. Which you don't have to, but I'll explain why you should later. Alright, so for you people that don't know how to do that, I'll try to do this as simple as possible. Alright, uh, first finger goes on your second to highest string on your what's now the first fret. Alright, next finger, trying to do this to be able to see as much as possible, goes on your second fret on the third to lowest string. So not E, not A, but D. So you have one on your B and one on your D string, okay? First, second fret. Final finger, your ring finger, I think, yeah, ring finger, is going to go on the third fret on your A string, second to lowest. And then that's a C, basically. All right, uh, bar F, pretty simple. Uh, if you watch my other one, you uh, the video, How to Play the Artist, you'll know. Finger across all of them on first fret. Two fingers down. Let's see if I can get you guys to be able to see that. Two fingers down on those two strings. Your uh, A and your D. And then you use your, your good finger there. If you're doing a power chord, it's called the FU chord by my friends. You know, FU. But you need to put this finger down, not make an FU chord, and put it on your middle string here, I guess it's your third string, third to highest, second, third to highest, sorry, which is your G string, I don't know why I just didn't say that in the beginning, all right, that's your F, for your G sharp, uh, even I didn't know this was until I had to look, um, like I said, just take the F one, slide it up two, so now it's on your what now is your third fret, all right, Guitar's a little off, but I just uh, did the best tuning I could with what I have, and I'm trying to hurry through this, so. 
All right, uh, D minor is pretty simple. First fret on the high E with your finger. Then you go with your third fret using your ring finger on the next string down, which is your B. So first on your E, third on your B, second on your G. And you can even hit this, the string below that one, the one that's not holding anything. And it sounds pretty nice. Uh, all right, and then a regular G, you all should probably know. That's usually what everyone's taught first, or at least that's been my notice of it. Okay, so your verse is basically your C, F, and your G sharp. I'm just going to call it that. If I'm wrong, forgive me. All right. Um, the strumming pattern, it didn't really give me one, but if you listen to the song, you can kind of figure it out. It's like... So it's like But as I played along, it just didn't feel right. It wasn't enough for me. And so I figured out this way. It's pretty simple. Um, once I eventually get to teaching you guys how to uh, play House of the Rising Sun, you're going to be using kind of the same thing. But here's how it is. You basically just pick each string pretty fast. I would say as fast as you can, but then again, if you've been playing a while, that's going to be much faster, especially for you people who play death metal. So just play it along with the song, and it actually sounds pretty good. So you always start with uh, whatever your ba the lowest string that you have a finger on is. At least that's what it seems like. And obviously you go back down again. So and once again you seem to stop on the string on the string that has the finger on it. Except with the example of these, where I guess you could stop here, but that's not right. Um, you'd stop where. Uh, your highest, you know, a finger that actually is making a difference. Stop. So I'll explain. All right. So and then you just kind of switch. So It'd take a lot longer than I have in the rest of the remaining of this video to explain um, the patterns for, you know, when you stop. But if you listen to the song, you probably can hear it. All right, quickly moving along, because I'm already running out of time. Um, when it gets to the bridge where he sings, and oh, I've been crying, all right, then that's when you get to your D minor. Then after that, you switch to a C. Then after that, your normal G. So it's... <laughs> Um, so let me uh, do a quick demonstration. The reason why you use the regular G is because when you use this G sharp here, you technically could do that, but first off, it seems to me that it would take a little bit longer to switch to that, and second off, it just doesn't sound right because, I don't know, it doesn't have the same feel to it. So I would always use the G, but you're not technically wrong, I don't think, if you use the G sharp. It just doesn't sound as good like with my strumming pattern thing. So here we go. Um, like I said in my last video, in case you didn't see that, I'm not a singer, I'm a guitarist, so forgive me, but I'm going to sing along this one little bit so you guys can hear it. So, and... Oh, I've been crying, and oh, I've been crying, and no, no more crying, and yeah. When he says here, you switch to your bar F, okay? That's pretty simple. Yeah. And then after a couple strums of that, you hear, I think it's uh, C. Switch to a G. Once you get to the bridge, you can switch to just strumming, and then afterwards, I would even recommend um, just strumming. Maybe except the last verse if you want to jazz things up a bit. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the whole song. And I have got to leave already because my video only has a couple more seconds until it's past YouTube regulations. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get some more done tonight. See ya.